Hello and welcome. Today we're looking at the SJRC F-11 drone. This Mavic-like folding quadcopter has GPS, brushless motors, visual image tracking, follow me, waypoints, return to home, and plenty of other neat features. So let's check it out. Now the drone comes in this shiny silvery square box and unfortunately mine's a little roughed up as you can see here. And this is the SJRC F11 folding drone or quadcopter. And you can see the front perspective of the drone there clearly in the front of the box. And here at the top you simply see the QR codes for the SJRC GPS Pro app in both the iOS and Android app stores. Here on the side of the box, it simply says F11 folding drone. And then right here on the back of the box, there's just simply some warnings and uh, some cautionary notes. And right here towards the bottom is where you can see a listing of all the features such as GPS return to home, point of interest, waypoints, active track, hand gesture selfies, and about a 25 minute flight time. So plenty of neat features packed in. So now let's open it up and take a look inside here. So right away here in the um, foamy part, you can see we have the drone and transmitter. You can see them clearly there. And this is the black version. There's also a white version. And so we'll set that right here. And right here at the bottom of the box, we have uh, two additional batteries. You can purchase this with either one, two, or three batteries. And there's also the instruction manuals, uh, USB charger, so on and so forth, spare propellers, etc. So now let's take out the uh, drone and take a closer look here. Pretty nice. Right away, it's all folded and compact. And this one folds into more of a brick or rectangular shape. Uh, not really a flat fold, but very neat. And you can see the camera right there in the front. And this one you have to fold it in a particular order. So we'll start out with the front legs. And then we fold the back legs, as you can see here. So now it's all folded out and extended. So very neat. Very cool Mavic-like quadcopter. So we'll set that right over here. And now let's take a closer look here at the controller. And it has these uh, joystick guards here, foamy joystick guards. So we'll just set that right there. And uh, pretty neat. And this is also a folding uh, transmitter as well. You can fold out the antennas and you can fold out the mobile device clip here. And even these grips here at the bottom. So very neat. And so you can definitely fold this one out to suit your grip. So very comfortable uh, controller that highly resembles a DJI controller as well. So very neat. So we'll just fold that in and we'll set it right over here. And now looking at the bottom portion here, we have the two batteries. And these batteries are 11.1 volt 2500 milliamp lipo batteries and they are smart batteries as you can double tap the power button and see the amount of charge on them through the blue led lights so very cool so we'll just set them right over here and then next we have the micro usb charge cable to charge either the drone's batteries or the transmitter which has a built-in 3.7 volt 300 milliamp lipo battery and right here we have a couple of little boxes. One of them is the spare propellers. And the spare propellers are the folding type. So we just pull out this little bag here. And there are four folding propellers. And they also have small screws and an Allen wrench for installation. But here they are. So very neat folding propellers. And then we have this little box of instructions. So we open that up and there's a little booklet inside. 
and it's very detailed. It goes over the app, over how to use the GPS functions, waypoints, how to calibrate the compass, and uh, how to operate the drone. So very detailed, nice little booklet there. So that's about it. So now let's take one last look at the contents of the box. Now taking a final look at the contents of the box, we have the drone itself. And since this package has three batteries, we have the additional two 11.1 volt 2500 milliamp lithium ion batteries. We have the micro USB charge cable. We have the transmitter, four folding spare propellers, its small screws, and its Allen wrench along with the instruction manuals. Interestingly enough, this package did not come with propeller guards. So that's essentially the contents of the box. Now let's take a closer look at the drone. Now, taking a closer look at the drone, this is a very interesting looking quadcopter that somewhat resembles a DJI Mavic folding drone. And this is the SJRC F11, as you can see there. And it has the SJRC logos at the top and in the back. And right here in the front, you could see its remote tilting 1080p wide angle lens camera that streams in 5G Wi-Fi. And unfortunately, it records at 20 frames per second, so a bit of lag there. And here is its SD card slot, so you can record onboard footage. And down below, there are a couple of interesting circles that look like they could be for optical flow sensors, but they are not. And it has a couple of landing legs in the back and two in the front that protrude out. And the design of the drone has the front legs elevated while the rear ones are lower down a bit. So they're at an angle. And it is a folding quadcopter, as you can see here. And you have to fold it a particular way, uh, starting with the rear legs going in and the front legs going in last. And you have to make sure that the propellers are folded or oriented a certain way. And it has an interesting brick-like uh, look to it when it's all compact. And then you have to start out with the uh, front legs to fold it out and then the rear ones. And the drone has these powerful brushless motors to support its somewhat heavy and large frame. And as you can see here, it does have folding propellers. And this drone did not come with any propeller guards, so I'm not sure if there are any out there for this model. And it does have these bright LEDs on each leg. And so activating it right here at the top, you can see that it has very bright and colorful LEDs all around. So very good for orientation or an early evening flight. And as you can see here at the top, you can just tap or double tap the battery to activate the drone. And the batteries do have these little side buttons or clips to pull them out. So very convenient. And a very large slot there at the top of the drone to house these uh, fairly large batteries, which are 11.1 volt, 2500 milliamp lithium ion batteries. And... These batteries charge with a micro USB cable right here on the side. So you just simply take any micro USB cable, uh, like the one included in this package, and just simply plug it in there. And then you can plug it into either a PC or preferably a wall adapter. And the charge time can be around two to three hours, depending on the type of wall adapter you use. And these batteries are somewhat smart batteries. If you turn them on right here, you can see the amount of charge or voltage they have indicated with these blue LEDs at the top. So very neat. And as you're charging them, you can see the blue LEDs start to blink, letting you know that the charge process is underway. So um, very cool, convenient, proprietary batteries that you can just simply slide into place and they lock in very easily. And they provide the drone with around a 22 to 25 minute flight time. So very good flight time there and a good build quality. And this drone has uh, both GLONASS and GPS. So very firm GPS lock 
And once again here you can see the little 5G icon there indicating the 5G streaming camera. So very sturdy and very good build quality with the arms locking firmly into place and plenty of features for a drone at this price point. So now let's take a closer look at the transmitter. Now taking a closer look at the controller, this is a very comfortable gamepad like transmitter that highly resembles a DJI controller. And here in the back there is no battery compartment as it has an internal 3.7 volt 300 milliamp lithium ion battery. And this controller is highly foldable as well. Here at the bottom it has two folding grips and it has two folding antennas at the top which are most likely for looks and it also has a folding mobile device mount and right here on the side you can charge the internal battery with this micro USB port so you would plug your micro USB cable there to charge it and here is the folding mobile device mount which is very spacious to hold a large mobile device but not quite a tablet here in the center are a few LED indicators to show certain statuses of the drone and once again uh, here are the folding antennas and moldable device clip so everything is foldable here and now going over the controls a bit we have the on off button right here on the right so you would just press that and here's the left throttle stick and you would bind to the drone by moving it up and down here is the power LED indicator and here are some LED indicators for return to home speed if you're taking video or if you have headless mode on. So several indicators there. Here is the headless mode button and if you keep it pressed you will turn on or off GPS mode. And on the right we have our auto takeoff and auto land button right here. And then once again we have the left throttle stick and then the right rudder stick and then here at the top we have our rates of speed knob right here so you would move that to increase the rates of speed and below that we have our photo button to take photos and then on the right side we have our um, camera tilt knob right here so you can increase or decrease the angle of the tilt of the camera up to 90 degrees and then we have the video button right here and as you're recording video you should hear constant beeps to let you know that you are recording while you are flying the quadcopter so that's essentially it for the transmitter a very comfortable well-built transmitter that provides the quadcopter with around a 1200 meter range of control so now let's take a look at the app and setting up for its first time flight. Now setting up for a first time flight is very straightforward. Once you have a fully charged battery inserted into the drone along with an SD card and the transmitter has been fully charged, you would proceed to activate the drone by pushing the on off button at the top of the drone where the battery is right here. So you would just simply keep that pressed until all the LEDs go on, as you can see there. Now you would turn on the transmitter. And then you got to bind to the quadcopter by moving the left stick up and down like so. So now you're bound to the quadcopter. You should see the lights blink. The next step is to calibrate the GPS compass. And to start that process, you would simply move both sticks up and towards the center like so. And then you should notice the lights start to blink rapidly in a pinkish color. And then you would rotate the drone about two to three spins clockwise on its flat horizontal axis until a couple of the lights go solid. At that point, you would turn the drone facing downwards with its camera down and you would rotate it another two to three spins on its vertical axis until the last two lights go solid. At that point, you would place it back on the ground. You should see the lights start to blink, looking for satellites and GPS lock. And so now the drone is bound and its GPS compass has been calibrated. Now the next calibration to perform is the gyro calibration. And you would do that by moving both sticks up and out like so. 
and you should see the lights rapidly blink and the camera should reinitialize and make sure that this is done at the ground level with the quadcopter still and not moving. And so all the calibrations have been performed and the quadcopter has been bound. And now you would wait for GPS satellite lock by having all the lights go solid on the drone. And you could start the motors in idle by simply moving both sticks down and towards the center and then provide some altitude. But at this point, you would connect to the drone's Wi-Fi using your mobile device and start its app. So let's connect to the drone now. So once in your mobile device's Wi-Fi settings, you would look for an entry that says SJ GPS Pro and a serial number. And once you find that, you would simply connect to that. And initially, there is no default password or anything to that effect. So you can just go ahead and connect to SJ GPS Pro. And once connected to that, you would go ahead and launch this app right here, which is the SJ GPS Pro app. And it has this uh, gray and white icon that says SJRC. And it's in both the iOS and Android app stores. And so you would download that and then you would go ahead and launch it. And you will be greeted with this screen right here. And on the left hand side, there is a drop down box that lists uh, many of the new SJRC models that are out, like the Z5, Z7, F11. And your model should be automatically selected here, the F11. And if not, you would just simply select it. But in this case, it's already selected. And on this screen, there are several options and help and support. And there are videos and um, there's instruction guides. But the main one to start is this one right here, which is the controls. So you would go ahead and launch the controls right here. And right away, you should get a live FPV feed right here a 5g streaming feed and as you can see it's very clear and there's not too much lag and the fpv range here is around 500 meters since it's 5g wi-fi so very clear very uh, good quality image coming in from the drone's camera so pretty good there and now let's go over the app and controls briefly here first off on the upper left corner is this arrow to take you back this will enable the advanced gps features such as the visual tracking and then there's the return to home the auto takeoff and auto land and here is the gesture mode or selfie gesture mode the picture the video button the voice command button to fly the drone with spoken commands. And then down here we have a lot of telemetry such as uh, distance, speed and altitude, uh, both vertical and horizontal speed. Then we have the battery percentage of both the quadcopter and the transmitter. And then here we have the waypoints mode. So you have a map and you can set waypoints and submit those waypoints to have the drone fly them. And so that's very neat. And then we have right here the photo gallery. So you can see you're taking photos and videos. Here we have a uh, flight log right over here. So you can see all your flights and distances and altitudes. Here we have the VR mode so that we can see the full screen and split it in VR mode. And here we can flip the screen upside down if necessary. Then here in the upper right corner, you can see the satellite strength or the uh, GPS lock strength. And here we have some settings and parameters. Uh, there's a beginner mode that's initially set and you can remove that to uh, eliminate all the restrictions. And here you can set your maximum flight distance, which is 1,200 meters, your maximum flight height or altitude, which is 120 meters, and you can set your return to home altitude. So a lot of features there in the app. So overall, a very good 
quality drone with plenty of features uh, at this price point. And uh, the only con really is the camera quality could have been a little better. Um, at 20 frames per second, it seems to lag quite a bit. But uh, overall, the uh, flight characteristics and quality of the drone is top-notch. So let's take it out for a spin and see how she performs. <laughs> 